Aha! I see a new recruit. Welcome. I'm the president of Theme Park Inc. Our vacancy is only for a new assistant manager. But as I'm retiring, there's plenty of opportunity for promotion. The shareholders are concerned about who'll take my place and, in confidence, my other directors have all failed me. You see, I have a dream. Three unique zones, the biggest, best and most profitable theme park ever. A far-reaching dream, but a splendid one, wouldn't you agree? It's now all down to you, my friend. I hope you're up to the challenges ahead. Well, we'd like to offer you the job. However, I do just need your name for my personnel files. Attention now. The first stage of our expansion is to open up the land to the northwest. There's nowhere for people to buy food and drinks. Why don't you build some shops? Click on the attractions button at the bottom of the screen and choose build attraction from the menu. To build something, click on the item you want. Then click the Buy button. Choo Move the blueprint to the required position, then click to build the item. If there's an entrance shown with an arrow, connect it to some path to allow people on and off. off, off. You should build paths so your visitors can get around the park. To do so, click on the path button to the left of the screen. The park has only got one ride. Why don't you build another? Click on the attractions button at the bottom of the screen and choose build attraction from the menu. To build something, click on the item you want, then click the Buy button. Choose different items using the buttons above the list. and click to build a queue. Right click to stop building or click onto or next to some path to connect the queue to it. Move the queue back on itself to erase. To build a track support, move the blueprint and click in the yellow area. If you hold the button, you can adjust the height by moving the mouse up and down. Your coaster is now up and running. Why not ride it yourself to get the full experience? Click on the camcorder button to the left of the screen and then click the coaster entrance. To build a track support, move the blueprint and click in the yellow area. If you hold the button, you can adjust the height by moving the mouse up and down. To rotate a track support, click on it and hold the button while you move the mouse right and left.
The visitors who've eaten in your park are very satisfied. Congratulations! To move a track <clears throat> To change a track support's height, click on it and hold the button while you move the mouse up and down. People are feeling a little... nauseous, probably from spinning around on all the rides. Why not build some trees and bushes? The sight of all that greenery should settle their stomachs. You'll find them in the Features section of the Build Attraction screen. You're doing well. Every new attraction you build will encourage more people to visit your park. To change a track section's banking or incline, click on its support and hold the button while you move the mouse. I just stepped in something unspeakable. The park is getting messy and you don't have any cleaners. Maybe you should hire some. <clears throat> some of your visitors aren't enjoying themselves. How about hiring some entertainers to cheer them up? keys on the keyboard to walk around and move the mouse to look in different directions. To send an email postcard, click the send postcard button or click the selection mode button to stop using the camcorder. Why not build some sideshows to entertain the less adventurous visitors? Click on the attractions button at the bottom of the screen and choose build attraction from the menu. Move the mouse to look in different directions. To send an email postcard, click the Send Postcard button or click the Selection Mode button to get off the ride. Excellent progress. Your park is really starting to buzz. If you want to see information about the visitors in your park, click on the Visitors button at the bottom of the screen and choose an option from the menu.